You know what guys, I think it's time for another British guy tries. Let's go. First stop, the lift. Next stop, the Uber, but it's not where it's supposed to be, man. I also completely forgot, guys, that for a Eurostar train to Paris, you can't just arrive at seven o'clock when the train takes off. You have to go through security, passport check. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Here we are. Eurostar. That's the train right there. Coach 16 now, so I'm all the way down this way. But surely it's not gonna go off or take off. Take off? Does the, does the train really take off? Bro, how long is this train, man? This is carriage number 11. I can hear whistles going and everything. I might have to get on this thing. It's actually whistling. It's whistling. Hi, right, here we are, 16. Oh, 16, come on. Hi, right, 65? 65? 16, 65, yeah. Name, sir? Andrew. Chain? Yeah, yeah, okay. perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, let's go. Automatic doors. Lovely, lovely. Jobs are good. And we paid it. <laughs> and the train tickets were purchased using today's sponsor, TrainPal. TrainPal is a money saving app for e tickets, physical tickets, and also rail cards. For someone like me who travels a lot, TrainPal helps minimize costs by splitting fares and having no booking fees. Typically, a one year rail card costs £30 a year, but can save you at least a third on each train journey. And if you link your Oyster card, you also get discounts on the tube as well. And now, if you use code RANDY, you get 34% off UK rail cards, which is literally a no brainer, guys. Make sure you take advantage of that. Get involved. You also get up to 5% off UK and Euro train tickets, including the Eurostar. Let's go. That's what I'm using today, by the way. TrainPal has definitely made this journey so much easier. So make sure you guys get involved. And once again, thanks to TrainPal for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it. The vlog appreciates it. You gotta love it. Now, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. Let's go. I always feel like to get videos of like train windows and plane windows in my head looks better than it actually does. But here we are, en route, Harry, Paris, France. Trains arrived, little nap on the plane. Plane? Train? Sorry. Lovely, off we pop. All right, we got Pret, Star Wars, stop, oh my God, Starbucks. <laughs> I meant to say Starbucks. You know when you have a little nap and you end up waking up more tired than you were when you had the nap? Before you had the nap? Yeah, I need, I need a coffee. Coffee, please. This is what we're here for some pastries, some bakeries, but I feel like it's gonna be better suited for us to find somewhere else other than the train station. I'm trying to find a toilet though. I can't find one. Do the French just not believe in toilet? How does that make sense when their word for yes is we? Oui? We're now in France, we're now in Paris. This is outside the train station now. Let's get involved. Like I said, first things first, I'm gonna get a coffee. So I'm gonna hop in just literally any place. This one looks like it'll do the job. Give it a go, get a coffee. I feel like you gotta sit a certain way when you're in France, right? You gotta sit with the kind of like, uh, the, the. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good. Cappuccino, let's give this a whirl. Breakfast, coffee. Why do they always put it in these like cups, man? Like, give me just a, like, so awkward. See what I mean? Anyway, it's good. I'll give it a seven out of ten. <laughs> nice little view here, though. That was just the, the train station in the city while well, I sipped this drink. I can't believe it, man. The main reason I went there is to go for a wee. And I uh, went to the toilet, and the guy's like, five minutes, five minutes. I'm just uh, cleaning. Uh, which is fair enough. I can't really complain. I'm not sure what I'm complain complaining about. Like, if you're cleaning, you're cleaning. But the only reason I went in there was to get a coffee and then go for a wee. And I can't even go for a wee. He said there's a toilet in the train station, though. So I'm coming back out here. I hate Paris, man, by the way. I actually do. I'm sorry, sorry for all the viewers who want to enjoy France and Paris through my vlog here. But I've just never really been a big fan. And also, personally, Paris is also a... Well, less said the better. But I hate Paris. <laughs> Found them. This way. Let's go. All right, here we are, off we go to our first place of the day. This place is famous, or one of the most famous bakeries in Paris, and it's famous for its traditional, I guess, approach and high quality ingredients. But I'll be the judge of this, and I'll let you guys know, of course. I can see a McDonald's over there as well, so I might film an additional video today, trying French McDonald's, because I'm going away soon, and I need to get a little bit ahead on the vlogs for security reasons. I'll probably do that on the way back to the train station when I go back to London. Um, but yeah, let's get a walk through these Parisi Parisian, Paris. Paris streets. That's architecture though. You can always rely on Paris, oh sorry, you can always rely on Europe for that. And uh, yeah, here we go. Go on mate. Wow. Very nice day here today though, sun's shining. I just come across this church. I wonder what that is. I wonder if there's any history or any kind of like heritage. Okay, the bus is in the way, give me a sec. I also want to be a little bit careful when I'm here because there's a lot of like bike theft going around now, not even in Paris, but also in London as well. I, I heard the number of like 20,000 phones get stolen a day 
but it can't be true. It cannot be true. But what, what people do is they, in, and that's in London, by the way, they drive past you on the like, electric line bikes, take your phone and they're gone. And the police don't really do anything about it either because they can't, there's nothing they can do. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit careful with my phone and the way I'm filming, especially in Paris because there are so many bike, uh, what do you call it? Bike paths on the pavements as you're walking. So try to keep that in mind. But yeah, here you go. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so it's called El Glisse or El Glisse Saint Laurent. I'm not sure what the, like the, little thing above the E does to words. It doesn't have it on there, but on my phone it had it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just like an old church, pretty much. I also want to keep these vlogs kind of real when I come to these places. I think especially those who are from America who watch these vlogs or watch, you know, content from Europe, they always seem to think, or they always have the impression that, you know, Paris is such a romantic, beautiful city. And while it is, don't, don't get me wrong, there's definitely aspects of that. Like, there's also a lot of reality to it where it is just a fucking city, you know? Um, and I'm not here to kind of get clicks from people who are checking out the best. Even though I'm doing the best bakery or the best, uh, you know, pastry or whatever, I'm not like, I'm not trying to get clicks from it's like a food blogger. I just, I'm just here to vlog my life, you know? So I feel like I can keep, I can keep it real on <laughs> a lot of basis or a lot of instances. So yeah, if you do come to Paris, keep in mind that it is just a regular city as well. It's not the cleanest city. There's a lot of crime here. There are nice spots, Eiffel Tower, sparkly lights and all that, you know, and great food, by the way, great, great, great food, which we're gonna find out right now. But just, I don't know, there's no illusion in Europe, you know, we, we're, we're still the normal place. Uh, and it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Although right now it is shining and I bet you there's a rainbow. <laughs> Here we go, we've arrived at our first place that I wanted to check out today. Uh, I can't do French. I did German at school. Um, Dupont et de Didi, Patissieri Boulangerie, I know that much. Um, but yeah, got a nice little coffee window there as well, so you can get a cappuccino, espresso, out of the little window, which is, would be ideal if I hadn't already had one. There are people waiting outside, not walking in, so I'm trying to figure out if there's some sort of waiting system or something. This is the overthinking part of me, but you know, I don't want to be that guy who just walks in, the British like, tourist just walks in, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm actually just gonna do it. Oh, there's a, there's a queue. Oh, there's a queue. Okay, they're just queuing. Got you, got you. Yeah, here we go. It's pretty enough. It's iconic enough. And hopefully I can get like, a little seat outside. Very nice. Sure. A little hot chocolate on the way for the boys. Queuing out the door now. That's always uh, the way at these places I've got high reviews. But to be fair, so far, this place actually looks pretty elite. Hello, hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. All right, here we go. Unfortunately, my little table area was busy and full of other patrons. I kept seeing patrons in Big Wedge filming in Turkey, and everyone kept laughing at me. Patrons is a thing, right? If you go in a shop and buy something, you're a patron. Anyway, I got the little, okay, let me tell you what I got. Okay, I got the uh, croissant, one, one little croissant. I wanted to get the, what they're most famous for, but it ended up being bread. Like a massive like bit of one kilogram bread. I know I could have ordered less than one kilogram, but I don't want, I don't want any bread. So I got a little bacon thing, croissant and hot chocolate. Oh, that's good, man. That's like rich, it's like rich chocolate, hot. I give it a seven out of 10. Now, that's good chocolate. I love, I love hot chocolate where it's like, not like, I don't know, it's a bit too rich. I wouldn't have it every night, but now and then, special occasion, it's nice. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go sit over there. I've always wondered if you order something from a different cafe or restaurant and then come sit on these tables, like, is that wrong? Like, no one's sat here. Why would I sit on like a little bench over there instead of sat on a table? If they come over to me and say, don't sit there, I'll just buy something. I'll say, can I buy something? You know? Um, also, if there's one place that I feel like people don't like you filming, other than London, it's probably Paris, but there are a lot of Americans here. And you know, shout out to my American <laughs> people. I guess someone just talking to a camera is weird. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change my opinion here. I'm the weirdo. Anyway, let me show you what I got. First up, I have a little croissant. Cross, croissant, Cross, croissant. Is this better than normal ones that you can get from home? Let's see. really nice you can tell it's fresh and like you can definitely tell better ingredients you know high quality or whatever wow actually it tastes really good I was, I was here ready to hit on it but it's really really nice now usually you get the ones from like say co-op and that I'm not gonna compare it with those obviously because sometimes they're too hard or 
sometimes too soft. I, I like soft croissants, but the ones that are really hard and just like, it's like, what's the point? This is, this is still quite hard, but it's soft at the same time. And when you bite it, it just feels good. You know when you like, how do I describe this? Okay, when you are in bed, it's like 3 a.m. and you go and get a cold glass of water after you wake up in the middle of the night, it tastes like that feels, if that makes sense. If I was to eat a normal croissant, maybe like in England or a, or a one that's not this good, it would taste normal. But then you have this one and it tastes like, you know what I'm trying to say? Cool, cool. A little update for you guys. I wasn't planning on eating this whole thing, but this is actually really, really good. As I was walking here, I was planning to say to you guys, all these places that are high rated, that everyone goes to, you know, everyone thinks they're the best. They're always written about being the best. They're always given awards. But what I prefer is a small, ones you don't hear about, you know, and you just find as a normal person, you don't have to Google it, you don't have to hear about it from an influencer, you just go buy it and it's good. And I, and I do still have that belief, but this place is, is actually good. The interior is really nice, like the spot was really nice, really cool, and the food's good. I haven't tried the bacon thing yet, I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but I'm enjoying this first. I will not eat all this, because I'm gonna eat a lot of food today, and obviously, you guys are gonna be mad at me, but oh, I thought you are trying to be healthier, but you know. You, you have to take off. What if I buy something from your place? Yeah. You have to, if you want to eat that, uh -huh. you have to go somewhere. If I buy something from you, can oh, I sit here? If you eat that, you have to go there. Oh, okay. Yeah, or in the street, if you want. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Damn, man. I can't even buy something and eat as well. But I get it. It's okay. I'll leave this very busy place alone. <laughs> He's got every right to say that, by the way. And I agree. By the way, he came out again as I was leaving. I was picking up all the little flecks of uh, pastry and he was like, am I, am I clear? And I was like, yeah, you're clear. Uh, anyway, here we go, this is my second thing I bought. I bought this little bacon thing. Now I like savory pastry more than I like a sweet pastry. I was gonna get a cinnamon roll, but it's too big and like just too sickly. So I was like, you know what, what I'll do instead is, I'll get some bacon, something savory. It is lunchtime after all. So yeah, here we go. Bon appetit, as they say in here, in France, France, French. Wow, okay. It's like bacon, but then with like sweet fruit-ish kind of glaze on it. I don't love it to be fair, I don't love it. The croissant was good, hot chocolate was good. This was just, it was okay, but I think it's more of a tasting than a, what that was, you know? Well, I was just sitting right there and I even offered to buy something and eat, oh well. But yeah, anyway, on to the next place, let's go. Okay, this is a really picturesque and pretty Paris street. Take back what I said earlier, because this is, uh, yeah, starting to get good now. <laughs> also, I hate being in Europe and having the flashy thing on my camera. Like, I can't change it either. I can't do 4K50, which would fix that, I think. Because they use different, like, power here, right? That's the way to think of it. Also, you guys have started to pick up on things that I say. Like, when I'm in public or talking to people in a loud, nervous setting, I say everything twice. Like, everything, and you guys have started to pick up on it. I also say weird things at the end of my, actually, I think I'm supposed to go down there. I always say weird things at the end of my sentences as well. Like I was just talking to you guys, and then I said, like, oh, let's go, for no reason. <laughs> Makes no sense. Here's the next spot, Liberty. It was literally just like a two minute walk from where I was, so I didn't get any footage of me walking here, other than the last shot you saw. Paris, Tokyo, Kyoto. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool, look. Paris, Tokyo, Kyoto, sick. I'm definitely down for like a baguette. Tuna baguette, that sounds nice. Curry tandoori, wow. Sick. This place looks kind of cool. Very, very cool. Hi, can I get a, uh, a tuna baguette, please? Yeah. Is that okay? Thank you. I'll get a, oh wow. Wow, Oasis. What's the, what's the best drink here? Best drink? What is, what's the best? Ah. Is it good? Yes. Ah, because it's French. Yeah. It's okay, okay, sure, sure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. The aesthetic here is really cool. I want to sit right here. Good lighting as well, man. Could be a good thumbnail spot. She also asked for my, Insta uh, not my Instagram, sorry. No, this is looking out weird. She asked for, am I doing Instagram or YouTube? I said YouTube, then she asked for the channel name to check it out. But I always feel like when people do that, they expect to see some sort of like, oh, I tried this, I tried that. I wish, wish I do do that, but also in between, I'm doing like weird sideband stuff. But I got an Oasis, as you awkwardly saw, me try and scramble around saying, is this good, is this good? So we have Oasis, but I'm not sure if this is the same brand or not. It looks the same, right? I'm trying to recall the logo in my head. Um, what flavor is this? What, fl what flavor is this? Oh, Pommy, Cassis, Frambro Framboise, Apple, Zwart, Framboise. Framboise is like strawberries, right? 
What's pomacassis? Pomacassis? I don't know. I'll try it. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's go. Mm. This place is sick, man. Really, really nice. Like tuna baguette. Obviously, can't eat all of this, but I take it back, man. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking a bit too negatively against uh, you know Paris, France, because they're nice here. Look at this place. It looks so cool. Like, yeah, definitely a nice vibe here. This looks good, man. Good bread. Very long, very big. What's it like? Six inches? Oh, I'm just joking. Just joking. Um, okay, let's give it a swirl. It's definitely a chewer, but the bread's nice. And also, you can never go wrong with tuna and cucumber. One of the best sandwiches, one of the best baguettes. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, let you guys know what I think. Also, seven out of 10. This thing is actually unreal, man. I'm not sure what they put in it, but it has like flavor in the bread. Is it, I'm not sure what, these are seeds, I know that, but it has like some sort of, I don't know, it's just so good, it's so fresh. I'm, I'm really enjoying myself eating this. <laughs> I know I do so much food content on these channels and stuff, but I, the obvious reason is because everyone eats food. Yeah, everyone likes going to different countries, everyone likes trying the cuisines and the different food there, so it's not that weird if you think about it. People are always like, oh, Randy, man, do some other content other than food, but well, obviously I do. <laughs> I do. I don't know what more content I could do. I do Pokemon, podcasting. What else do I do? Vlog everything and everything. I'm enjoying myself. Hop off my dick, man. <laughs> Alright, here we go. All done here. Let's go. Alright, on to the next spot. But obviously, I've eaten a few things already. Croissant, baguette. So I'm going to go to a little park on the way to the next spot. Try and find like a nice little area, cove to just sit and have like a still moment. So let's see what we can find. And hopefully, it's, it's nice. It's one of my favorite things about London is despite all this that goes on, the busyness, you can still find like quiet little parks. This place looks sick. It's like sandwiches and that. Very, very nice. Wow, look at this area. This is beautiful, man. I feel like I'm seeing a different Paris than I've seen before. I'm trying to figure out why. Even look at that street on there. Wow. I feel like when you come here and do the, like, the Eiffel Tower or all that crap, you just see like a worse side. Whereas when you just go and walk around and kind of see where things take you, you just find these nice spots. Look at this. And look, you've got people just sat there, eating lunch, chilling. I'm not trying to film people here, by the way, <laughs> but you know, it's just nice, just seeing the city, taking things in. Obviously, even though I'm going, I'm gonna sit this side. Even though I'm going from like spot to spot and I'm doing something, I'm also at the same time not really doing anything. I'm just here to kind of enjoy the day, vlog the day and get some content for you guys. Obviously, once again, shout out to Train Pal for sponsoring this video. Um, I wanted to take a train journey to have that little integration in the video and I chose Paris because I've been enjoying these vlogs, I'm enjoying going different places, traveling for you guys and for myself this year. I haven't been able to do as much as I wanted to. When I first went on that Texas uh, trip, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this all year, but obviously certain things have popped up. Um, but I think that kind of my progress and what I'm working on so far is making sure that all those things that, I'm, that I've had to spend time on this year improve in the future so that I am less involved in them, if that makes sense, you know? The podcast set's done now, so at some point we can get ahead and I can have like three or four episodes pre-recorded and I can travel wherever I want to. Um, same thing with, you know, like Ace and, and whatnot. Not actually whatnot, but <laughs> everything else. Look at this, by the way. This is just so picturesque. I mean, wow. I really want to keep all this footage 4K on hard drives and stuff and just keep it forever. Imagine having all of this kind of like footage, just high res, 4K, full quality. Even places like that, Look at the stupid flashing lights, man. Anyone know how, to, how I can fix that? Like, how can I fix that but still keep it 4K, 60 frames? Look, if I go 25 frames, it fixes it. So if I could go 50 frames at 4K, it'd be great, but I can't do that. I wonder if CJ changes the project like settings to 50, that would fix it. Maybe that would work. What was I saying? I'm working on things to make sure that in the future I can travel more and still maximize you know, my, like my different avenues that I've got, but also free up more time for myself to make this kind of content because I love it. But yeah, in life, these kind of moments are definitely underrated. Um, this is really, truly, I think, part of like being a human, you know, and being alive is just sitting still, accepting moments like this. And, you know, if you can afford the, the chance to be able to do this, like you guys give me the chance to be able to do this, then you gotta take it in 
And I think for me, being so busy often and, and so stressy, like I stress myself out. Being able to come here and just kind of like take this in is a really underrated moment. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put the phone down and just sit for a little bit and, and enjoy, enjoy the day. I spent way too long there, but honestly, that was really, really nice just sit and chill. I had an idea as well. I think I might like make like a big spreadsheet or a database and write down every single like idea that I want to do on the, the vlog channel, like no limits, you know, every sort of video concept as well that I could do and then just have them there. And then what I do is just look at the calendar and any time I can fit one in, go and do it, you know, rather than, I don't know, doing it run and gun style. I can probably get it all planned out. Oh, sorry, all ideated and then just go, okay, cool, today I can go over there or this weekend I can do that, you know. I was also thinking about doing like a top 10 travel vlogging equipment things to buy. I don't know. I just sat down there, plugged my phone into my power bank in this little bag here and I'm good to go again. Um, you know, and all like the phone, mic, contraptions, everything that you could like want to use. I feel like people would probably find use in that. Um, but yeah, just really just enjoying the, the sun, enjoying the little canal here, the river. Hey, shush. And uh, it's really nice. I'm still going to the park though. I'm still going to go to the park as well and then go to the next food spot. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying myself today. I've been doing a bit of ace work as well on my phone, chatting to the marketing team. Uh, CJ and I were working on the brand deal aesthetics for this video that I'm, you know, filming right now. So yeah, it's, it's good, man. Um, if I can keep kind of planning everything out so I can kind of work everywhere or work from any, anywhere, then that's kind of good news, right? I do need a haircut though. I look like a different person right now. <laughs> oh man, I literally don't even know where I am right now. But I can't lie, I'm really enjoying myself. I literally never seen Paris like this before. Honestly. I was just thinking as well, the recent Sunday where we missed an upload on the channel, and by the way, we missed it by choice by taking weekends off. I realized that's the only day this year that we've missed on the vlog, I think, which is crazy. And it was on purpose. Considering we've been to Amman, Dubai, Texas twice. <laughs> where else? Italy, Turkey, Paris now. And we've been hitting every day, you know? That's pretty impressive. Especially with doing all the ace work, all the podcast work, time with my daughter, time at home, time not supposed to be filming, sideman shoots, all this, this is crazy. Good job, CJ, and myself. Let's go. Pat on the back. <laughs> all right, here's a little park, I think, that I searched and found. I didn't see any photos or didn't hear anything of it. I just kind of like looked for a park. Uh, also, ChatGPT helped as well. So let's check this out. And hopefully, it's a nice little spot to chill for a sec. Dog gate. No dog with me, apart from the Randy dog. <laughs> So that was meant to be funny. Do I move this with my feet or what? Woo! Ah, oh, my shins, fuck. Nice little area. Very cool, very cool. Oh, look, a little garden. It's perfect for a dog. Nice little water pond thingy. This is nice and cute. Let's go. Wow, they've got little singular chairs as well. I'm gonna sit on one of these, look. It's a single chair. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, banging. This will do. <laughs> little park excursion all over now. About a 20 minute walk to the next spot. Onward we go. I do actually have to start thinking about when I'm gonna leave. Train's at four o'clock. It's currently 1 p.m. right now. So I've got a bit of time. Just gonna get, this is actually a smart little gate. Fucking hell, it's so fast. I keep forgetting every time how fast it is. Cafe studio. Yeah, 20 minute walk to the next place. I actually might find like a different place because I just feel, not that I'm, by the way, I'm not against walking 20 minutes, guys, come on. I'm just thinking like, might as well, Go with the flow, you know. Very nice, very cute. I was walking past this place, it looked pretty cool. So I stopped off for a little little pint. Why not? Sun's out. You know, let's, let's, get, let's get the coat off, man. Let's get the coat off. I mean, it's not much different, really. I've still got the, the, the hoodie on. <laughs> but it's better. I thought, you know what? I'm here in Paris to try some pastry. But I'm also here for a vlog and just to chill. So why not? Why rush around, enjoy the day? This has been one of the best days I've had in a while. The fact that I can call this a job and, and you know, it actually be something you guys want to watch as well. It's a win-win. So thanks for supporting guys once more. Very, very grateful. Don't think I'm ever not. And uh, yeah, when, when the pint comes, I'll give you a cheers. Not right now, but when, when the pint's here. Although I didn't want to go to the toilet before I actually sat down, but they kind of like, I went in there and said, can I get a pint? He's like, yes, 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 outside, outside. So I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Pints here. I realized I just filmed on the, the times one lens rather than the 0.5. And you know what, it actually looks pretty good. I might try and do it more often. Uh, anyway, cheers guys. Appreciate you got all, all of you. God, I love it, man. Got to absolutely love it. Also, the, more than the haircut, to be fair, the beard it needs work. But I've got used to, I've got so used to just going barber and then tidying it up on my own. But 
yeah, I ran out of razors, sharp razors, you know. <laughs> I'm still, uh, I'm still living life as a, as a single individual person. In London, you know, back home, you just go in the car, go Tesco real quick and you can get anything you want. Whereas, although you can walk out if you're flat in London too, but again, I want to enjoy my time a little bit. You know, I actually might back off the hoodie. I can't even lie. That's it. Cheers, guys. Sun's gone down as well, getting cloudy. So that's my sign to leave, you know. Here we go. Put some Ace Post live as well while we're here. The TikTok and Instagram starting to pop off a little bit, you know, as we do. The start of uh, something good. And yeah, let's, uh, let's go and pay and get out of here. I don't even know what to, I, I, honestly, maybe I, w I won't even hit up some more bakeries. You can't even, you can't make me. I've had some, I've had some bakery, you've, got, you've seen some content. British guy tries French pastries. I have, I literally have. Also, uh, the McDonald's video I said I was going to do, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to, I don't want to go eat McDonald's today. Maybe that's a little bit of growth, but um, I can't think of anything worse than just going and having, you've seen it before as well. It's the same as Italy, same as everywhere else. I'm not saying I'm not going to do it in the future. I definitely will. But today I'm feeling more vibes than just going to go try McDonald's. You know, British guy tries France McDonald's. Ugh, no, no, thank you. Not today. Not today. So I'm just going to chill. Um, I might go have like a little little whiskey as well. <laughs> Sorry, not, not that I'm just trying to drink, but there's a Soho house here as well. Obviously, I've got the membership from London, so it's going to waste, so I might as well go and, go and do that. I've been there before, it was really, really nice, so I could go there, vibe, chill before the train back. Shout out to Train Pal once more, code Randy. Uh, go check it out, use the code, get the app. And uh, yeah, living life, let's go. Even though I'm not getting any, these look absolutely class. <laughs> they love it over here, man. You know, one thing I never understood, right, is hi-fi stores. Don't get me wrong, I went to uni to do audio engineering, did music production at college, done music my entire life, enjoyed mixing, enjoyed mastering. I enjoy the high quality, the high fidelity of music, but I never understood how there can be a whole store in real life these days that just sells like hi-fi sound systems. I love it though. I mean, it means there are people out there that just sit at home, listen to high quality ass music, but still I'm thinking like, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of these shops think, how do they make money? But they do, which is great. I think the reason they do, and what we always forget about in life, is how many people are in the world. Eight billion. There's so many people. There are so many. And again, the fact that I mentioned to you guys earlier about 20,000 phones being stolen in the UK, in London alone, sorry, every day. If that's true, I'm, I'm gonna double check here. <laughs> don't take my word. I saw it on Twitter. If that's true, it's just crazy. How many people are out there, man? So, let's to myself. If you get one hater or one bad comment, it's literally nothing. Also, those who were commenting on the last video saying the mic sounds quiet, you're not wrong, you're right. I've been using a different one, the older version of the Rode mic, because my other clip's broken, if you, if you well, long-term viewers will remember that. But I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna switch back, get a new clip, beg Rode to refund me some clips, or just buy some more, because the old, the new mic is way better. But I still don't know why this should be as quiet as it is. It also failed yesterday. Those who watched yesterday's vlog with Jamie, go watch it out. But what? Go check it out. You'll see it fell. So, yeah. I want to see something real quick. I'm, I'm holding the, the trap in my armpit, by the way. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Hmm. I just checked and I'm literally like 45 minutes away from the uh, train station. I'm not sure how I ended up. Well, no, half an hour, sorry. Half an hour away from the train station. I'm not sure how I ended up this far out, <laughs> but I'm here now. Um, I'm gonna get a line back to Soho House. It's a 45 minute drive if I to get a taxi. So I'm just gonna get a literal line bike. I just went through, I just walked on red by the way. Crazy out here. Um, gonna get a line bike there, 20 minutes. Little, little whiskey old fashioned and then head to the train station and head back to be fair. There we go. Gotta love it. And yeah, there we go, line bike. Let's check it out. Oh wow, the phone goes that way this time. I'm gonna um, use the sat-nav on the phone, so I'm not gonna record because I don't know, I like I'm not in a country that I know, so it's safer to just focus on the road rather than filming with you guys. So I'll see you when I arrive. I've had an absolute stinker, right? Thank God I got on this line bike. So when I came back from Turkey last week, I changed my phone on the plane to London time. So I turned off set automatic time and I turned and I just searched London. So I've been living this entire day in France, in Paris, on London time. I was so confused earlier when it said like 11 o'clock in England, 11 o'clock in Paris. I was like, how does that make sense? I thought it was like daylight savings time or something. So I've just checked, I got a line bike and it said like three o'clock, 10 past three instead of whatever time it is now, or 10 past two clearly an hour before. So I don't have time to go, so I have, I have no time to do anything. I have to get back to the train station. 
if I, didn't get on this, if I did not get on this line back, I would literally have missed my flight. Yep, train, train. So anyway, rerouting off to the train station to get this train back to London. <laughs> that was almost on par with the uh, Texas petrol leak incident. Um, but yeah, I'm rerouting off to the, the train station. Let's go. The content creator inside of me tells him to go and film the McDonald's video. But the Randy inside of me who enjoyed his day out in Paris has decided no. So I'm literally going to go to London and then I've got a meal. So there's no point really. I just don't want to. I should though to get ahead, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> but I can get ahead other ways. I'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, here now at the train station, as you can see in the background, just there's the train station. So I'm going to get through security, checked in and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, back to London. Um, and by the way, what a great day in Paris. My actual opinion of Paris has changed a little bit. This experience today has been way different than my prior experiences. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, let's go. Good day in Paris. Good day out. 7 a.m. start, 4 p.m. train back. What a good day. <laughs> That's just so crazy. If I didn't get that line back, I would have literally missed the flight. Uh, train. I keep saying flight. It's a train. Um, security took so long. Literally took like 30 minutes. My train takes off in 20 minutes. If I figured out later that the time changed, I would have been screwed, man, honestly. So, goodness me, thankful. Let's go. And boom, just like that, we're back in London. It's crazy how you can go from Paris to London. London to Paris, Paris to London that quick. I'm kind of tired though. I might have a little nap before this meal later. But, uh, yeah, I was like packed in like a sardine on the train, so I didn't really feel much. But here we are, back, just like that, you know? Shout out to Train Pal once more, Code Randy. Let's go. Gotta love it. Made it back by the way, forgot to tell you guys, forgot to update you on the vlog, but it's okay. You know, I had a little nap. Uh, so yeah, off now to get some food, get a meal. Um, got a new bedding as well now, which is sick. Ordered that finally, thank God. Uh, very nice. But yeah, I've left my tripod on my mic at home because it's a meal. I don't really want to be that guy, you know? 